Every single developer wants to store his projects somewhere remotely, so he has history. And typically people are using Git for this. This is why in this video I want to compare GitLab, GitHub and Bitbucket like a project where you can store remotely and for free your projects. At some point of your life as a developer you want to share your projects and your code between different machines and you also want a history. And the most typical solution here is to learn Git and to learn how you can push your repository inside remote region, for example on the server of GitLab, GitHub or Bitbucket. But the main problem is, when you are just starting you don't know what features you need, what project is better and what you should choose. And from my experience, when I just started, I just looked for the place where I can store privately my repositories. And this was the most crucial feature for me. It didn't make any sense to store all my projects just open in public. And actually at that time GitHub was the most popular solution. But the main problem was that at that moment only public repositories were free inside GitHub. Nowadays it is not like this, you can have private repositories there. But actually at that time when I was a junior, I didn't want to show my bad code to other people, which is totally normal. This is why private repositories were a must for me. So let's start with our comparison. First of all, who are the owners of these three companies? First of all, GitHub is owned by Microsoft, GitLab is owned by GitLab company itself and Bitbucket is owned by Atlassian family. And already this information can change your decision. For example, if you like Microsoft, it makes a lot of sense to look inside GitHub. Or maybe if you hate Microsoft, then you don't want to use their products. Second thing that we can understand from the owners is for example that Bitbucket is living inside Atlassian family, which actually means it is fully integrated with all tools inside their family. For example, if you are using Chira or Confluence, you will get support of Bitbucket there out of the box. Now let's talk about the amount of users that each company owns. GitHub is the most popular product here and they have more than 40 million users. And actually this number is so huge because everybody are storing their public projects inside GitHub, every single company. If we are talking about repository for React, Angular, Vue or any other framework or library, you will find it directly inside GitHub. You won't find it on GitLab or Bitbucket for example, because they are not that popular. But it doesn't mean that you should directly choose GitHub just because it is the most popular. For example, inside GitLab they have somewhere between 200 and 500,000 users. And inside Bitbucket they were celebrating 10 millions of users inside their system. Which actually means for me every single company inside this list are super stable, there are lots of users and we can't really choose one company here, just related to the amount of users. Now let's talk about updates and new features. And actually I used all of these systems and I must say that Atlassian family and Bitbucket doesn't have a lot of features. Now let's compare updating. And actually if we are talking here about Bitbucket and Atlassian, I will put it on the third place. Because we are waiting for features there like years. And there are lots of features inside GitHub and GitLab that we are still missing inside Bitbucket. Which actually means you are getting the system that is not out of date, but you won't get any new stuff there. And even if you want some advanced features, they are just not there like 5 or 10 years already. And from my perspective, if we are comparing GitLab versus GitHub, there are lots of new features inside GitLab and they really release lots of features every single month. So here I will put GitLab on the first place and GitHub on the second. Inside GitHub you still get new features, but they are releasing them not that often. And here is important thing to mention, doesn't matter what company we are talking about, if all people want some really new cool feature, they are trying to put it always in a paid tier. Which actually means it doesn't always mean that you will get this new nice feature in a free tier. They really want to sell their product to you. This is why I would recommend you to understand what features you need and try to check if you have all these features inside free tiers. And the next point here is the most important for me. These are private repositories. And as I already said long ago, GitHub didn't have on the free tier private repositories. But now all these three companies, GitHub, GitLab and Bitbucket, have inside by default, inside free tier, 
private repositories. But there is a small catch. We must talk about limits here. You can't just throw endlessly files inside repositories. Every single repository inside every single provider has its limit. And the storage limit for GitHub is just one gigabyte. It is not a small amount because typically you have just text files inside your repository. But from my experience, I have some repositories with more than one gigabyte. I have like three, five gigabytes of files inside, and these are just text files. Bitbucket have a size limit of two gigabytes, which is twice as big as GitHub. And GitLab is the best here, they are giving you 10 gigabytes of storage. This is why from the storage perspective and privacy of repositories, GitLab is winning here. And now let's talk about additional features. Actually, every single developer has different set of features in mind. And I would say that from my experience, the most amount of features you will get inside GitLab, on the second place will be GitHub, and on the last place will be Bitbucket. This is why actually my choice is to use GitLab. And for example, for me, the really important feature is Docker registry. If you don't know, Docker is a really popular solution for containerization. And actually, I want to store my images not inside public repository, inside Docker. I really want to store them privately. And you can do it directly, for example, inside GitHub. But here is a catch. You can do it only inside public repositories, which actually means you can't make a private registry for your Docker images. And actually inside GitLab you have a private registry just inside your repository, which actually means you have a 10 gigabytes limit and you can upload there just directly your Docker images. And this is on the free tier. And if we are talking about Bitbucket, just like I already said, they are lacking new features, because they are not supporting Docker registry at all. So for my own projects, which are all private, I am using GitLab lots of years, completely free. And actually, if you are interested to know how to create a JavaScript library by using TypeScript and publish it to NPM, make sure to check this video also.